Hi boys and girls, my name is Erin Actel and I'm a Pennsylvania State Trooper. I'm very excited to kind of tell you about my job today. Um, not only am I just a, a Pennsylvania State Trooper, I actually work in the Forensic Services Department for the State Police. Um, forensic Services are the people that go out and investigate crime scenes. Okay, so I'm the person who goes out and I'm looking for physical evidence of a crime. Uh, physical evidence usually consists of like um, DNA evidence, which comes from blood or sweat. Uh, we're also looking for what's called latent fingerprints, which are the invisible fingerprints that are on um, surfaces. Uh, we use different tools to try to lift those fingerprints and anything else that, that proves that a crime occurred, whether it be tire prints or shoe prints, or it could be almost anything really. Uh, so I work very closely with the criminal investigating unit uh, in order to solve some of these crimes. So some of the crime scenes that I go out to might be a bad accident out on the highway or um, like I said, a, a murder or a homicide. Uh, we also go out to uh, different thefts. Maybe somebody broke into somebody else's car and stole some stuff out of it. I can go out and I can look for evidence of the crime there. So that's just a couple of things that I do um, on my day-to-day day -day basis. Um, in order to become a state trooper, though, I first had to go to, to uh, college. Okay, so we do require some college. Uh, if you don't go to college, the only other cho um, choice that you could take would be to have some military background. So if you served in the military in some way, uh, you can use that as a way to get into the state police. Um, I went to college for criminal justice, okay, which gave me a little bit of a basis on uh, criminal law and stuff like that. But you don't have to go to college for criminal justice. You can go to college for anything that you choose. Um, once you go through college, you can then apply to become a state police trooper. Um, once you're in, you get to go to what's called the, the State Police Academy. Okay, Our academy is a place that we live at. Uh, it's located in Hershey, Pennsylvania, right across from, uh, I'm sure some of you have been, right across from Hershey Park. Um, and that academy is where we live for about six months. And while we're there, we learn everything about the basics about becoming a police officer. We have to learn um, the laws of Pennsylvania. We have to learn first aid, CPR. Uh, we have to learn how to do a crash investigation. Um, we have to learn, believe it or not, different driving skills. We have to learn um, how to operate a firearm safely and accurately. Uh, that's just some of the things that we, we learn while we're there, okay? Um, once we graduate the police academy, then we are state police troopers, okay? And we get assigned to different areas to work in the communities that, that we live or that we live in, okay? We are no different as police officers than any other police officer that you see on the street. Um, we, do, we all do the same job and every police officer works as a team, okay? So you guys being Evans students probably see the Limerick Police Department the most. Um, we are exactly the same. We do exact same job as the Limerick Police Department. The only difference is, is I can work anywhere in the state of Pennsylvania. Okay, whereas Limerick only works in Limerick, which is where we live. Okay, um, as far as other things to become a police officer, uh, we have to live a very physically fit lifestyle because we never know what we're going to have to do every day. Okay, we might have to help somebody get out of a car after a car crash, or we might have to um run after somebody if we're trying to catch a criminal we never know what we're going to have to do so you have to keep a very physical fit lifestyle um and train very hard and eat healthy okay uh that's about all um
the time I have today, but I would love to talk to you guys more about this sometime and you feel free to reach out anytime. Um, I would love to answer any questions you may have about becoming a police officer at any point in time. I wish you all the best for the rest of the school year and enjoy. Bye guys.